Hey, what's going on? This is Carvel Bailey. Uh, today, I'm in my kitchen. Uh, we're doing a little, a little something. We're doing a little. We're getting it ready. This is, can't really see it, but it's actually a lot. We're getting it together. Um, let's see. Let's go to the microwave. We got the mac and cheese in there. We got some chickens. Dressings, biscuits. So today, as we do every year, we go and um, feed the homeless uh, on behalf of Bless the Ball Skill Development. Uh, myself and my family, we always go do this way of giving back because uh, we understand that we are blessed because um, we bless others. And we understand that because we are blessed, then it's our job to bless others. So today, I'm going to give you another quick blessing. Um, for the athletes, all right, for the athletes, listen, I'm trying to fix my earring, y'all wonder what I'm doing, I'm trying to screw it back in. Um, but um, for my athletes, what I've seen, um, and it's kind of an epidemic so far, and I'm going to say epidemic um, as respectfully as possible. But um, athletes, please, and parents, coaches, get your athletes to understand this. Um, you hear my son in the background listening to that hip-hop hair, he's a hip-hop hair fanatic, all right? So, but athletes, listen, stop whatever this new thing is everybody is jumping to pass the ball um and and let me i i guess it originated right when you drive baseline you have to understand if you drive baseline and defense cut you off then we saw it in the pro that trickled down on a college level um if you're making a pass from one baseline to the other baseline across the court you probably have to jump out of bounds and be able to get it back in bounds but whatever the thing is now everybody is going to the basket and they're jumping up and they're pumping double pumping triple pumping and then they want to pass at the last minute that is cause for a turnover a quick turnover an easy turnover um, and it's going to land you on the bench and also it's going to make coaches going to make college coaches start to wonder are you worth the risk or are you worth the investment of offering you a scholarship so you have to understand all right if if you are a risk they're not going to offer you a scholarship if they feel that you're worth the investment they will offer you a scholarship and then they'll work on those things but this whole jumping to pass thing and you know it's 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 seen a lot in the nba you know i i, I see lebron do it see a lot of um, NBA guards do it and they get and they hang hanging in the air waiting to see where the defense is going to go and then they pass it at the last minute based off the defense well what I see on the lower levels so many athletes are jumping up and they're just jumping up with no intentions of who they're looking for they so so you're jumping up to bait the defense but what if you can't hang as long as the defense and now you come down this a travel so what I've seen is because most athletes with that athletic ability, you have to understand on the college level, the pro level, um, is much bigger, is much faster, is much stronger. They're better athletes, uh, more equipped, more prepared with their bodies to do different things. So I see a lot of lower level athletes, high school, lower level, um, they're jumping in the air. And so now they have to make a split decision, a quick decision on who to give the ball up to or really just to get the ball out their hands before they come down. And what's happening, most players, they're literally just tossing the ball in the back of them or just giving it to anybody or putting the ball anywhere so they don't come down and travel. So my advice to all athletes, all right, uh, my, my plea to all athletes, stop jumping to pass the basketball. Please stop jumping to pass the basketball. It does you no good. There are times in which you may have to jump to pass the basketball. Like I don't even see athletes with the uh, shot pass anymore, like jumping like they're about to shoot it and then drop it off to the post down there. But athletes, you're putting your self as well as your team in a deficit because especially when you get that far in the lane and now you're jumping up everybody eyes is looking up because they're expecting you to shoot it and now because you have no intentions of shooting it you're just jumping up to create a play or attempt to create a play or attempt to look a certain way and it results in traveling all right so athletes please 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 stop jumping to pass the ball coaches here's the thing for you here's the thing for you and i challenge you i challenge you any athlete that jumps and attempts to pass the ball and it's a turnover, 
um, let's put some weight on it, right? Maybe they can come and do 20 push-ups, right? And I mean like immediately on the sideline, right? But if you condone it and if that's your style of play, that's fine. But just know that um, those turnovers will come from that. Uh, but we have to put some type of um, something on athletes that are jumping to pass the ball. And this can only be done from a, from a, from a coach's standpoint, right? Or parents, same way. If, if your child is jumping to pass the ball and it's a turnover, then, you know, maybe they have to do an extra week addition or something. But it has to mean something for them to stop doing it. All right, so I just wanted to come and to give this um, quick video uh today to be able to help you guys understand please stop passing jumping to pass the basketball and be prepared um when you do jump to pass the ball if you ever jump to pass the ball but please stop it all right it's a quick easy way for a turnover um let me get back to what i'm doing uh cooking this food got to cook it they got to box it and then we got to take it and prepare it uh, hey, if anybody want to join us, if anybody want to join myself, my family this evening, um, or any day, because we go, you know, often. If you ever want to join us in some true community service and giving back to the less fortunate, then just let me know. All right, I can give you the meetup spot. We can meet up, uh, do certain things for the parents. Parents, um, if you would like more help with uh, a training like this to be able to help your athlete. Um, you can go check out my free case study at b2bsdhoopsmastery.com. And if you need my help with anything uh, and would like for me to be able to personally help you, uh, just reach out to me and we'll see if we can get it going. All right. Talk to you guys later. Coach Bailey, let me get back uh, to this oven. Make sure that everything is going right. Ain't looking bad. What you say? I don't know if you can see it. Ain't looking bad, though. Ain't looking bad. Getting there. All right. Talk to you later. Peace.